What time is it, y'all? What time is Peanut it? Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Way back, way back, way back, way back. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Peanut butter jelly. 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 Do my do a live stream. How are you, Queen? How is Greg and the kids? We are great. Over on TikTok, I got my Blair doing my do live streams. And who's on YouTube? Whoever's on today, I see people on, but they're quiet over there. Well, Blair, let me tell you. Since nobody wants to talk, oh, there's Tejas. There is Tejas, Mister Game of Call. You're my favorite. You. Oh, thank you, Mister. Game lip tickle. I can't say your name, but thank you. Did y'all see? I know my TikTok people didn't see, but my YouTube people. Did you see the name of my chat this morning? Like I, I named my chat this morning. Blair, you ready for this? I'm interviewing somebody today. I'm a little nervous. See, I mean, y'all probably seen I put up the videos. I I will interview a lot of different ton of people. Like, oh, when I just put up the interview, I did uh. An interview with the, the Tony Bang Bang. I can't say why. I, I'm gonna get look, I'm all flustered. Tony Bancroft, is that how you say it? He did, he was like the, the director, voice director, did animation. He was the director for the animator Mulan. I interviewed him. I even oh, this weekend I interviewed. Oh, I didn't tell y'all this weekend. I interviewed, I might have told y'all, um, Cheech. <laughs> you know Cheech. You know Cheech. <laughs> I interviewed him for like the Grandpa movie. There's a new movie come out. The Warwick Grandpa got what was his name? Uh, Robert De Niro in it, and and Jane Seymour. But today I'm interviewing someone, and I'm nervous. I'm interviewing Peter Ramsey. Do y'all know? Y'all know him. He's the director of Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. You know him, right? The, the, the Peter Ramsey. It, he won. He won the the Oscar for the Spider Man into the Spider Verse, and I interview him today. And it's not just like around. You know, sometimes we do roundtables where I'll get like, "So when is your show coming? I'm waiting." What which show, Blair? <laughs> My own show? Is that what you're talking about? I need one, huh? But. She, it's not just like a round table because sometimes I'll interview them like the Cheech one. It was like a, a, a handful of us and, and they uh, I get maybe one question or two. This is a one-on-one -on -one with Peter Ramsey, the, the director of Spider-Man. Oh, I'm nervous. I don't know what to ask them. You know, I'll just fly. I, I'll talk. I'll just fly off the cuff. What I tell, <laughs> what I tell Cheech? <laughs> I was like, Cheech, my son loves you. He loves your movies. I was like, I don't know which ones because we know what movies he makes. <laughs> but I'm uh, nervous about the Peter Ramsey. Wouldn't y'all be? That's the Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse guy. I, lo I love that movie. All right. What did y'all? Not many talking of today. Y'all don't want to talk about the Peter Ramsey. What did T just say good morning? Go I watch all your videos. Thank you, Mr. Gaelico. Please react on our, our John said, all the best for interview. You can do it. All best wishes and blessings. Some confidence from your daughter, Bella, <laughs> right? You saw her. She she did the interview with the Blues Clues guy, right? At Tube. What is Tube Active? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what Blair's over there talking about Tube Active. But yeah, Bella did the interview with... Uh, with the blues, the new blues coos guy, she did good. Maybe I should have her on it. <laughs> I'll be like Bella, come help me out with this interview. And I usually don't get nervous. You know me, I could talk. Y'all know right here, I just start talking like this. I gotta look cuter today too. Should I put on a little makeup or something? 
keep my hair in the braids. What am I going to wear for the Peter Ramsey? Oh, I'm nervous. And I get like 15 minutes with him. So we can, me and him could talk. <sighs> what should I ask him? Do y'all have any questions yet? What should I ask the Peter Ramsey? Oh, Blair said I look. Thank you, Blair. And I got, this is going to be my journalist glasses too. I'll be like, I, I'll be like that. Barbara Walters with my, my glasses and Peter. I want to make Peter Ramsey cry. <laughs> Barbara Walters always makes people cry. But if y'all saw my Tony interview, he made me cry. He made me tear up. So that's the, the, the worst part. Y'all know how sensitive I get. Y'all know how sensitive and that when something, especially something touches my heart in a certain way, I do, the tears I can't hardly control. So if I try to make Tim, Tim cry asking those deep questions, I, it'll make me cry. <laughs> Arjun, can we become best friends, Amanda? I definitely can match your vibe. Arjun, sure. <laughs> I mean, I'm always open for new friends. I like having friends. I'm a bad friend sometimes, though. I am. You know why? Because I'll have friends and they'll like text or call me. And I just get wrapped up in my life. I just get wrapped up in the stuff I'm doing because it's busy. Like I'm doing, I'm coming live. I got interviews today. I got movies to watch and I got a review. And between all that, if someone, like a friend texts me and just like, hey, what's up? Let's haven't talked to you in a while. I'll forget to text back. I do. I don't have Reddit. And I just think I'm like mad at them or something. I'm like I'm not mad. I just forget. And y'all know my memory. Oh, I already got the bad memory. I can't be going to interview Peter Ramsey with these bangs looking like this today. I got to get it together. <laughs> I got to. Oh, Blair, where's your makeup artist people? Where's your hair and makeup artist people? I got to get it together for Peter Ramsey. Well, I got a little time. When I'm supposed to interview with him in like three hours. So I can still get it together. This is me just waking up in the morning. Y'all aren't very talkative today. I'm by by this time, I'm usually trying to scroll through the comments, trying to catch up on stuff. Y'all are not very talkative at all today. My personal MUA is in Missouri. Are you really? Is it by St. Louis? Oh, Blair, I should have asked you this, but before this, St. Louis. I should have asked you this before this. Can they come and do an emergency? <laughs> emergency makeup and hair, especially my hair. Y'all know I haven't got my hair cut since like before the pandemics. <laughs> That's how long it's been since before the pandemics. I got the split ends. Look, Blair, split ends and all that. Blair, were you nervous this weekend? Oh, he said one second. Blair's going to check. I might get a special. Are they safe? Do they wear masks? Because I got to have like some mask. I, you know, I'm real safe here. What did T just say? Oh, the Kango. Oh, we'll talk about that in a minute. I just want to talk about number one. TikTok almost shut down here. Did you, Blair, was you nervous about that? This weekend, TikTok already, and they did a last minute deal that Walmart bought them out. Now it's not part of China. Like, I guess they bought out the company and stuff. Now, this is my question, because I know in India, y'all banned the TikTok because it was like with the skirmish with China and, and those kind of, are y'all going to get the TikTok back? I was wondering this. I was like, well, now Walmart bought it and all this stuff. And I guess it's an American company. I, I don't know. But are y'all going to get it back now? That's what I was wondering. What are, what are they wear mask and visors at all? Oh, oh, good. Yeah, I like it safe. So I'm wondering though if they're gonna get it back at the TikToks back over there. Although I do my lives, my dual stream lives, YouTube and TikTok, but I'm gonna tell you, like, I'm not real and Blair no, I don't put out that many videos on TikTok. It's just it'll take like I have to be inspired to have a, a video on there. And I just don't I just don't have that much to say, I guess, on the TikToks. <laughs> they do all the dancing and all this stuff. And they do the short videos. I think that's a problem. Because I don't do much things short. You know, I like to go on and on and on about stuff. I'll talk about a long time. And they'll be like, try to cut it down under the 60 seconds. And I'm like, that's all I get. <laughs> 60 seconds. I got lots to say. 
So that was one thing. <laughs> and what else I was going to talk about? Oh, I wanted to mention one other thing. Oh, and on my YouTube, I, I started a little, on the Saturday, I did a little vlog. I wanted, did y'all like that? I was like, I don't, somebody asked me to do some vlogs and I was like, all right, I'll, I mean, how hard is that? I just start recording my daily life. So I did one on Saturday, but I think I'm going to do, try to do a little vlog once a week. Just, just, you know, things that are happening in life. What would y'all like to see about the vlog? I thought about one thing I wanted to vlog about as, you know, my son, Zach, turned 15, got his little driver's permit. I thought it'd be fun to, to, to do a little vlog of me trying to teach him how to drive. <laughs> I mean, because that's been, that's been interesting, trying to teach a teenager to drive. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> like, I, I, I probably need a little anxiety medicine before we go up on there. But that might be a little dangerous, too, if I'm, like, filming. And <laughs> it might make him nervous. But just different things, what you would like to see, I want to know. All right. Now, let's, what did she just say? She just was talking about the, um, you're trying to wear Indian attire. Sorry, Bendy. Oh, okay. How about a surprise us with all that in the next live chat? <laughs> well, I do have a, um, a video. It's been a while. It's been a while though. But if you, you search it, search for just a man, crazy man to react and wearing a sorry. Cause I do have a video with me trying to wear one. Let me tell you, that right there was interesting in itself. Trying to just, because it's like one long piece of cloth. And it it's like long. And you got to bend it and twist it and tie like all these ways. That was interesting trying to trying to figure out how to wear one of those. But I got that video. But I don't know about the bendies and the, and the, and all that. Is that. Is that like the pants? Do they have big booty sizes? Because <laughs> you know I need my big booty sizes in the pants. <laughs> You know, I can do the saris and, and do the cloth and wrap all around. But if it's the pants, I need, I need, do they have the, um, the big, the bendies, big booty sizes, <laughs> the BBBs. <laughs> I need the bend, bendy big booties, <laughs> big booty bendies. That's what it is. The BBBs, big booty bendies. What's in this coffee? <laughs> I don't know why y'all, that just, <laughs> I'm over here. Sometimes I just crack my, I don't even, y'all probably don't even think it's funny. I think it's funny and I will crack myself up on <laughs> the big, the BBBs. <laughs> All right, T just, T just, let's get into it. Bendy is applied in center of the, oh, oh, I thought that was the, oh, is that the, is that the jewel? Oh, I could, I wish I had one of those for the Peter Ramsey. Put the little jewel there. I thought, what is, cause I saw something, maybe it was a man's attire. Blair, I need them ASAP because I'm doing that interview soon. But no, but I always say, I was, uh, I, because I saw some they have like, someone mentioned it about doing, uh, 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 wearing one of the outfits. And when I, when I went and searched it, it was like the pants and, and suit all to get like shirts and pants. I guess that wasn't a bendy. Too bad because big booty bendy sounded good together, <laughs> right? If it was, a, hopefully it's with a B. <laughs> he is only free. Oh, Blair. Oh, he had six. Oh, well, thanks for looking, Blair. That'll be too late. But I listen, Blair, I know who to call next time if I need quick little makeup. And do, do they do hair too, Blair? Because that's the thing I'm wearing. My bangs are not, my bangs are not interview. They are not on point for interviews today. Look at that. My bangs, they're not interview ready this morning. <laughs> All right, let me catch up because I wanted, T just talked about the Kanga. What did T just say? Kanga was right. Mammy A-list, oh, many, many A-list actors are involved in drugs. Bollywood's number one actress from last six years. Dep is that, wait, Dapika is drug. Is she the one from... Uh oh, I'm getting nervous. Is Topeka the girl that's in the um Bastrami Mastrani? <laughs> you know, I say that wrong. Mastrani, Bajari Mastran. You know that movie, the Bajar. I hope that's not one because I love her. She is. Be she ain't in drugs. Don't tell me this. Is that the same girl? That's what when I hear the Topeka. Who else is in drugs? Also, Sarah 
Ali Khan. Is, is she related to the salmon? Shred, I don't know that Shraddha Kapoor. Oh, this is, it's the peak of the one from the, the Bajari Mush. Well, how did y'all find out that it was for sure? Like Kanga said it, is it is it like known now? Did it all come out? Did their family come out and tell them? Hi, Rishi. Back to college. Oh, Monday and went. Oh, good luck, Rishi. Good luck. Hi, Mohit. What did our John say? The bendies are all. I know. I want a bendy now. All right, what else? For Bria. I'm doing good for me. Your ponytails. Oh, thank you. These are my interviews. Set my bangs. He didn't say my bangs look good. Because I know my bangs are not. Maybe I need to wash them and blow dry them. Blair, tell me a quick way to make my bangs look cute for my interview. Because <laughs> that's what I'm worried about, my bangs. Look at them. They're not. They don't look even. Oh, this is going to. What else? Ar Anarv. Hi, Anarv. Gosh, I love you. Lots of love. Oh, send him a love back. Mwah. Uh oh, Kata came in. Kata, Kata. Everybody sending me a love. And then Kata, Kata comes in. I don't like you. Sorry. <laughs> you don't like every, you know. But Kata, Kata sure came in to tell me this. <laughs> she she had to make an, a special appearance, take the time out of her day to tell me this. Why don't you visit India? You can get all the Indian tire. Where. See, Mohit, this is, first of all, I'm not visiting anywhere now. I'm not traveling. I'm not getting on a plane right now. Someone's talking about getting on a plane. They were going, well, they were buying a house in another place, and they were getting on a plane, and they were nervous because the plane was kind of more crowded than they, they, they've been on it before, but usually it's like hardly anybody on the plane. But now I guess they're getting more crowded, and I was like, it's, uh-uh. I read this morning, what did it say? Or it was on the news that, you know, U.S. makes up 4% of the population of the world, only 4%. But we have like 40% of the COVID positive cases. No, I'm not getting COVID. I'm, I've already done this much this far since since March. I, I've i been quarantining and not going out. My kids virtual schooling. I'm like, I'm, I've done this much not to get the COVID. <laughs> so I'm going to make sure, you know, I put all this work. Not to get it. And then people, because we got the Halloween coming up. You know, the Halloween, well, all the holidays are coming up. But Halloween is where, you know, they have October 31st and you get all dressed up. And I love Halloween. I love to dress up in the costumes. I love chocolate and the candy they hand out. I love the Halloween. So it's coming up. And the CDC, our Center of the Disease Control said, uh not to go out on Halloween and people are like, Oh, I'm going out. I'm not that I'm going out. And they just don't want to listen. It makes me nervous. And I know I feel bad. Like, Oh, this is going to break. Oh no. Where's my, did I bring my tissues? Because even this weekend, like I was, no, it, it was the other day though. I, Cause I was practicing driving with Zach, my 15 year old, you know, teaching him how to drive. And, and we drove by a school or his, you know, his, and uh, he was like, oh, I miss the school. And I started tearing up. He's like, and he said he's lonely. Oh, it broke my heart. And it just made me think, I'm like, oh, am I doing the, am I making the wrong decision? Keeping him home, not in school. I mean, there's cases in the school, but it's not as many as I thought there would be. I mean, they are being safe. They're making the kids wear masks, you know, and if they have a case, they, they make all the kids that, you know, if they have a positive case, anybody that was in the class with the positive case, like they're making them do two week quarantine, like mandatory. It's a hard decision now. And when he said he was lonely, oh, cause that's the worst, right? A 15 year old, like teenager, this is the times when they go out with their peers, right? This is the times they, they need to discover their independence and, and, and all that. But it broke my heart. And what kid says they miss school? <laughs> what kid says that miss? <sighs> Where am I at? Where am I at? Rishi said, Krish, Krish three, Ritik and Kanga. Oh, so she was, she was in there in the Krish. Cause I seen Krish three. I didn't know she was in there. I don't remember. 
I know they had the Priyanka, right? Priyanka was in it. Which one was? Was she the? Oh, was she the bad one? She was the villain. I didn't know that. How is Greg? Please give him my regard. I will, Pabria. I was even thinking because. You know, the weekends he's off that I told him, I said, we need to do like a quick little live on one of the weekend days just for you to pop in. Because I, I told him, I said, everybody misses you. Yeah, but Bajaro Mastrani, she's that girl. She, oh no, she, I hope she ain't in the drugs. I hope that ain't true. Oh, because I love, she is beautiful too. That's that girl. I was right. <gasps> How did they find out? I'll send you regards for Bria and the kids. That's what, oh, look, we're talking. And I was just talking about the kids. You know, they're, so one good thing is I, I, I virtual school four, right? My two kids and my sister's two kids. So, and my, and my daughter, Bella, and my niece are the exact same age. Well, they're only six weeks apart. Ain't that something? Like they're six weeks in age apart. So they're the same age. They're like each other's best friends, which they'll fight sometimes though. Cause you know, I mean, Kids will fight, especially like girls. They'll get mad at each other for something silly. But at least they have each other to, you know, spend time with in virtual school and 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 all that. So I'm, And I have them, you know, every day during the week. So I'm like, well, at least they have each other to keep company and do things with, which is great. But that's why it hurts my heart even more because that's what my son, he's 15. And then I have my nephew, who is a boy. He's like six. So I'm like, that age difference right there. <laughs> I mean... Sure. Like he helped, he'll like go out with, you know, my nephew and they'll do like fun little things, but it's not the same, you know? So that's why it just breaks my heart when he says he's lonely and wants to go back to school and misses it and his friends. Oh, because this is the age that they should be socializing. It makes me sad. What did Sebi say? Oh, wait, just, I told you Trump has been nominated for Nobel Prize. Oh, I know. The Peace Prize. But you didn't believe it. He's been nominated for the Peace Prize. That's, yeah, so he's been, now he was nominated like twice. I don't even want, oh, y'all. Oh, y'all. This, just, I, I just think of the word Trump now and it, my stomach just goes in knots and makes me sick. Because, you know, Friday also. One of our big Supreme Court justices passed away to our Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And I was in mourning all weekend. I was. I was like Sunday. I watched, they have a, on Hulu, a documentary about her. It's just called RBJ, RBG. And I watched that, cried. Then I watched a movie on the basis of sex, it's called. And it's about, you know, her taking on a big court case for women equality j cried <laughs> you know so that's been a big hit and now like now press this trump is gonna have three people on the supreme court justice he's gonna have nominee so it's gonna to our supreme court now is totally gonna shift to the republic you know more a conservative and he's even talking about one girl he's putting on there who thinks religion and, and politics should be combined, like they shouldn't be separate. Oh, it's just, I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to think about it. Don't tell me this, Sebi. Sebi knows. Don't tell me. I don't want to think about it. It makes me sick to my stomach. NCB, I don't know what that is. Found out all names from what's, oh, also they are interrogating all. Isn't the what's WhatsApp chats, isn't that? Um, ban there too, because I know here when they were talking about you know the TikToks that they also was going to do the what's what's up the what's what is it WhatsApp WhatsApp <laughs> what's up app <laughs> you know what I'm talking about Rishi marks and washing hands yes mask and that's that's what they're doing in the schools that's why I'm like I didn't want to send the kids back this first semester especially because I wanted to first you know, see how it goes. I didn't want to send them back and then regret it that, you know, the infections in the schools were just like crazy high and just spreading everywhere. And then I wanted to pull them out. You know, I didn't want to send, I wanted to wait a semester, see what happens in the school, 
and and then make my decision about them and send them back to school. And now that they're already virtual, they have to wait like a semester. They can't go back to like January now, which is only a few months away. And basically, too, I mean, all the holidays are coming up. This is, you know, a time anyway, families are together and do a lot of holiday stuff. So I was like, this ain't too bad to do it at this time. But I'm going to tell you if from what and and each school so each our, our school district too has a website and when you go on the website you can click on the little COVID map and they update it every Monday and tell you how many new cases they have in, in each school and his school like my son and daughter their school that's why I said they have like maybe one one a like one a week or the week before they didn't have any you know so I'm like they're really controlling it doing a good job. And I've heard, you know, how they have to wear the mask all day. You know, they, they keep them social distance, even in the hallways, when they go to school, they have like markers down the hallways and you have to stay social distance from the person in front of you and behind you. And uh, you have to stay on one side of the hallway. So they're really, I think, doing a good job of controlling it. And if they keep this up, because this is the time, right? We're about to hit the cold season, the normal kind of flu season, they say get our regular flu shots and everything. So if they, if I watch, see that it's, I just hope I made the right decision. And so that, that's why I said these times I think is hardest on kids. And it ain't fair. You know, it ain't fair. I'm like, I, I get to have, I got to have a great, like teenage childhood, hang out with friends, just carefree in life and and not no hardly no worries, you know. And it ain't fair to them. I know life ain't fair. I know. Don't get me crying. <laughs> Don't. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk. What 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 else are y'all saying? What do you teach us on twenty five on twenty five NCB? is going to interrogate the people. Oh, they're going to interrogate her. She let mama last week. Oh, she left because they were going to interrogate her. All celebs left. Oh, smallest thing. There are a few drugs legal. People felt, oh, so that's why you thought she is guilty because they're like, well, we're going to go interrogate her. She like took off. <laughs> She's in hiding. Oh, that makes me sad. She is so beautiful and and talented oh and that I, when I watched that movie just you know, just I remember how great of an actress she was I just felt her pain on the screen oh, that's sad I wonder what kind of drugs you know you always wonder that like the hard stuff or sometimes you know some of these actresses and all they want to take those drugs to keep them looking thin and all that kind of, I, I mean, at least here, I know they get on them to keep them thin, but also they, they get on them to keep them like always active to always going. Cause they get a busy lifestyle then and, and, and take the speeds. And I don't even know. I'm guessing <laughs> this one watching the movies. <laughs> that's what I watch from what I know in the movies. That's what happened. Hi, Darav wonder, wonder man. Sorry I didn't come to last live because I have exam. Oh, listen, don't be sorry. Sam's uh, exams come first. <gasps> Vicky. Vicky's here. She says she loves Peter, Peter Ramsey movies. Vicky. Spider-Man into the fight. I'm interviewing him today, Vicky, and I'm nervous. What should I ask him? I mean, I have to ask him about Spider-Man into it. But I, I'm interviewing him because he's doing this other little uh, <clears throat> special. It's called A Million Stories. It's, uh, it's uh, you know, it's on online and it's free. Mil Millionstories.com. And he's kind of promoting this, like, free online entertainment show where they interview, you know, it's for, I guess they say for millennials to kind of teach them about you know, their future, future, you know, key finances, future goal, being entrepreneurs. So he's kind of doing this and they interview these people doing little segments like that. And he did one. So he's kind of promoting this. So I'm going to talk to him about that. But I mean, I, you cannot in, not interview Peter Ramsey and not ask him about Spider-Man into the spider verse and his winning an Oscar on it. And I'm going to ask him if next movie he does. Right, I want an animated 
crazy man to react. <laughs> Can I have? They would never let me interview again. I'm like, can you put me? I'll do it. <laughs> you know I'm crazy. I'll do it. <laughs> Hi. Uh, how do you say this? Agnid. Agnid Deep Deepak. <laughs> Vicky said, people saying Sushant and addition, Susan's female manager death went live on dark web and big stars were enjoying. That can't be true. That, because that would be too big of a news. That sounds like a rumor, don't you think? Vic is, hi, man. I am your first commenter on your video. Not the one today, Vicus. <laughs> You're talking about my live or another one? Because y'all know, did y'all see I just did a reaction? I, so, you know, I'll look at like trending things on YouTube. I'm like, what's trending? And I'll look at what's trending in India sometimes. And I'll look at uh, what's trending in US. And today I was looking at what's trending in the US. And what came up was the tiger. The tiger s did a song. Unbelievable. The ti You know, I can't say his last name, but you know, tigers war. My, the, my little guy who's, who's like the protege almost of my boyfriend, Rittick. I don't know if I should say protege. <laughs> I don't know if he taught him and everything. But you know, he was in war and they did the little dance, dance off, dance battle and everything. And I was like, he has, I didn't know the Tigers was such a good singer. So I was like, I have, and it was trending the US. So I was like, oh, not many times does my my Hollywood or my my US stuff, you know, merge with my love of my, my India. Not That doesn't happen often. So I was like, I need to react to this. And I'm going to tell you, I was impressed. It was even something because I was watching it. And even when he's singing, he kind of mixes, you know, the, the English language with his own. So even in the songs, because the song's name is unbelievable, but I'm listening to him. Sometimes he'll sing in English. And sometimes, you know, I was like, oh, that's, it's even like a merge of the languages almost. But I, well, I could not believe how good of a singer Tigers was. Did y'all notice? Has he done other songs? This is the first time I heard him. And I was, I was, I'm like, okay, he's an actor, does the dancing and stuff. He's going to try his little, I mean, I've seen it before, even in, in movies and in Hollywood actors. I remember Dirty Dancing. I don't know if y'all seen that, but Patrick Swayze. I remember watching Dirty Dancing and then Patrick Swayze wanted to do a little song for it called The Hungry Eyes. And it was good. I was like, oh, that was, that was cute. But if he would have just, if you wouldn't know that was Patrick Swayze and they just put out that song, you would be like, oh, that's, uh. <laughs> you know, but you liked it more too because it was Patrick Swayze and you were impressed that he was an actor and he was singing these songs, right? Well, I was the same, when I heard the Tigers, I was like, if I wouldn't even know that was Tigers and I just heard the song, I was like, he could be just, he could have been like a, a, a singer. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word singer. Yeah, I was. I, I'm just saying, I was impressed. Have y'all listened to it? Did y'all know about this talent he had? I need to know. What did Vicky say? Uh-oh. NCB is the drug investigation department. Oh, like here we have, um, oh, what is it called? The drug, I don't even remember. What is happening in my memory lately? But I know what you're talking about. The D, D, e, DEA, drug something enforcement, drug enforcement with the DEA. We have like the, so the NCB is the same thing there. And it's ready to crush big stars of Bollywood and even small people in South India movie industry. They're cracking down on the drugs. They are cracking. Star at news on Dapika. She's in jail. They said she's in jail? Did we go, is this breaking news, Rishi? <laughs> NCB collects heavy data before calling the culprits and then calls the dem for inquiries to the office so that they they won't get out of their paws. So now it's the Pika and Shraddha's turn. Oh, man. She just said, Bollywood Mafia are very dangerous. When NCB officers said that they get many names of celebs who are involved in drugs after two or three hours, NCB office call. They set it on fire. It's going to be a war. It's going to be a war against the Bollywood Mafia and the NCB. And I bet the Bollywood Mafia has a lot more money and resources. Oh, it's getting, it's getting, 
how is it every week I hear about new stuff, it gets crazier and crazier? There's a huge number of people who are ready to boycott Bollywood and support a, and supports a Kenga. I know people get mad at me. I know because what I reacted to one of the um, Salman Khan songs, not recently, or yeah, it was like one of the songs. All oh, people are mad. How can you react to this? This is terrible. Like, do y'all think it's so bad of me to react to that? Because I'm like, this is still part of history. There's still many people in the song like you can appreciate, you know? So what was it even one? It was, it was, I think it was, yeah, Salman Khan and I was doing, because I wanted to do it too, because it what Shri, it was my girl Shri Agasho singing. I was like, yeah, I was like, you can't, in the end, y'all already said, like they, they have, all these people have like, they're all, everywhere on Bobby, right? They're everywhere in the movie industry, in the song industry. So you have to like not pay attention to 90% of the stuff out, it seems like, if you really want to not. So that's, that gives you a market to to check, like and enjoy this much percentage of like the songs and the movies because they're in everything. It's like almost impossible <laughs> not to, not to, you know, come across a movie or a song that they're not in. So should you just not do it? I don't know. That's what I keep going back and forth with. I'm like, should I not? Should, because they're in it. But then I also want to support the other people in it. And I want to enjoy it. Like when Sharia Gosh is singing in or, or the other people in the movie. What do y'all think? I don't know. I'm, I get torn about it. Where are we, she? Salman Khan and Disha, Regent. Game of Thrones costumes are made in India, really? I love that show. The Ruff said, you're awesome, I had to thank you. Who told you that, T just, are, oh, are Nav doesn't know about this? <laughs> that the game, is this about the Game of Thrones? I mean, they had some, listen, from what I've seen, oh, at random over there, told me hi. And yes, my name is Boy. Hi, my over on TikTok. I'm sorry. Sometimes I get my my YouTube's in the comments, and I and I forget them. I know I'm, I shouldn't forget about the TikToks up there, cause y'all TikTok's important too. <laughs> but um, I wouldn't be surprised about the Game of Thrones costumes, because they are you know intricate and have. I, and I seen uh, the cost like just from the 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 movies and the dance numbers and all that. Over uh, from India and in those movies, and they're beautiful. So I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. I don't think I'm not believed. Don't know. <laughs> Did you not believe? Me? Vicky says you are not reacting to Govinda songs, whichever. Oh, well, I know. I forgot, and I couldn't find it. I did do a Govinda song the other day, though, Vicky, and I was like, oh, what is the one? I couldn't find where I I had wrote it down. Because I was like, I was in a Govinda mood. You saw I did it the other day, a Govinda song. But when I went to do it, I was like, oh, I know. I remembered, big, but I didn't remember what the song was. I need to, here, let me write it. Because I was, Vicky, I was thinking about that. I love Govinda. Why is it that Govinda always puts me in a good mood? And he does. Whenever I watch that, the, like, you cannot watch a Govinda song and not get in a good mood, I feel like. Don't you? Govinda always puts me in a good mood. What is he doing these days? Does he still put out, does, does Govinda ever put out new stuff? Because I mean, all the songs and videos I've seen, they're older. Like you can tell just by what they're wearing. <laughs> you know, some of it you'll be like, oh, that was that was some like 80s, 90s attire. And you know, Govinda got his style. Govinda, oh, that's what, I always like to count how many times Govinda will change an outfit up in one of his videos. Because Govinda... He's got style and he wants to show it off. He's Mr. Govinda Flashy right there. But but you can tell by the outfits and the out. And I did, what, oh, tw the girl Twinkle was in the one I just did too. I love that name. <laughs> if I had another kid, I was like, I want to kind of name her Twinkle. I don't know if Greg would let me. He, he wouldn't let me. I don't know. He, would, he came up with some weird names when we think about naming our kids. He came up with some weird ones, but... You got to remind me of the name, Vicky, because I was thinking about it. Partner in Govinda and Salman Khan and Katrina Kaif, 20, 2007. Do you 
Do you who is the biggest and famous druggie in Bollywood who has been jailed but again started drugs and he's a big Bollywood star and great friend of Salman and Shura Khan? Don't you say Ritik. Vicky, don't you? Vicky, don't you tell me that. <laughs> don't, you know, this is a no, nobody, well, I don't think Rick did what you that kind of stuff, right? I mean, it, people have said, because remember I, when I, when people were brought up before and I was like, well, he had that back pain and it's easy to get on those, but you reacted to Vinda's song yesterday and the actress with him was Twinkle. That's, oh wait, that Twink, that's, yes, TJ's. Now I remember because I was like, I know I heard Twinkle before. That's Akshay's wife, Twinkle. I got to remember that because I think I had only saw her like once or twice before. The Twinkles. Oh, Akshay got him a nice. Oh, he got him a cute little wife. <laughs> she, Because I was like, look how cute she is. And she had a little outfit on too. I was like, oh, she, Twinkle is cute. And that's Akshay's wife. I remember someone telling me this before. Oh, look. And they have like a, I, what has Twinkle been doing these days? Does she marry, does she like still, because I know they have some kids now, right? When did they get married? I, I need to know the story now behind the Twinkles and the Akshay. Priyanka Chopra in Hollywood movie 2021 teaches they are, there are heavy evidence that Dennis Topeka, this was all started from the SSR death. Oh, I know. That's what I said. That, that SSR, that just snowballed everything. Then people started talking. I, first, you hear about the Bollywood Mafia. That's why I even hear Rittick and SRK. They, th those videos when they were talking about this, so they started that. But then it rolled out to like the drugs happening in the Bollywoods. I wonder what kind of drugs that... I don't know why it just started. But I'm like, what, what kind of drugs was she doing? Has, where has the Pika, what is the, she been in any movies like, I mean, cause that Bajaroma, that movie, like when did that come out? It's been a few years at least, right? Has she been in a lot recently? Oh, it makes me sad. I love her. I thought she was like, cause you know, I know Priyanka was in, Priyanka ain't all this, right? Priyanka, it seems like Priyanka doesn't stay out of this. I guess that's why she, she done met, came over, married to, to Nick Jones, little goofy Nick Jonas, and she's away from all that <laughs> craziness. But she got in her own crate, right? Didn't to, oh, wait, did Topeka? Because with the Harvey Weinstein stuff. No, I don't think, was she in that? Because I know what Shara Ray was, and then I thought Priyanka was too, which is, it's tough. Like, you always think, I was like, I would like to be famous. And and rich and famous, right? That it's got to be so great to be rich and famous. But they have all their own pro. Like when they get in the, the fame and they all get, they do. They get on the drugs. Like I was, like you think it might be nice to be rich and famous, but then you see all these people that are, and they become on the drugs. Like it must be not that great of a life that you think it is. If they need the drugs to get through it, <laughs> you know. It must not be that great. And that's what you all oh, you, you read those stories too, or watch that show. Um, it's like the, the people that win the lottery, right? It's like the curse of the lottery. If you win the lottery and it showed all the people that won the lotteries and, and they end up broke or it's like this big, huge curse, you know, you know, I guess, I mean, it has to be, if I, I, every time I buy, cause I buy, it's been a while, but Every time I buy a lottery ticket, <laughs> every time, I don't know. I don't know if they even have the lotteries in India. Do y'all have it? Well, I don't hear people over here. We have the lotteries and you can buy a ticket, win millions. And I only usually buy a ticket when it gets to like a 300 million and stuff. Cause I'm like, I ain't going to waste my time by just a, a few little million. <laughs> I need, I need to make it worth my time. I'm going to win the big pots when it's like three hundreds of millions. Right. But every time I buy that ticket, I start planning my life. <laughs> I do. I start planning like I'm a, I'm the big winner from like the moment I get that ticket. I'm like, I start in my head. I'm like, okay, what if when I win, I'm like, I'm going to first put this ticket in like a, a fire lockbox, chain it to like, a, it's going to be in my lockbox and put handcuffs, chain it to my wrist. Like this ticket ain't, 
I ain't losing this ticket, number one, right? But then some states, like, at least in my state, it's a state when you go to, like, claim your your winnings, you have to show up in person. Like, you have to show up, right? Because I know some places you can have, send someone in your place. I don't know what states, though, but I know you could, they can send, like, a law, like, you have someone representing. But, no, like, in my state, you have to, like, show up and get your ticket. And there's even been, but I, but I want to... That that would be something that goes back in my head. I'm like, because you know, I want to show up and be on TV, and I'm like, I'll be like, ah, oh, what? <laughs> Crazy man, right? Follow me on YouTube. See what I do with my millions. Oh yeah, you know that was in my head. I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna be the crazy man, <laughs> lottery winning YouTuber. But then, like, you hear the stories, like, because you know, my heart, my sensitivity. Then you hear stories like the people that, you know, would get, as soon as they win, people be showing up out of the woodworks. You be getting like cousins that you never knew you had. <laughs> like, and, and they're sad stories about needing money. And then people that don't. And I couldn't like turn down people that are in need and come to me. And, and I could never do it. So I can see, you know, why people want to be, like private about it because all these people become, you know, come to you and just like all asking for help. Right. And I mean, that's, I would want to, if I won, Oh, don't that definitely. I would want to use a, a lot. I mean, after I do my little, buy my little jet, <laughs> no, I'm not going to buy a jet, but I'm going to be a little, you know, a little extravagant. <laughs> I might, I might, I don't know what I would buy. You know, that's one thing I don't know. I would plan on what I would buy. I just planned everything else. I didn't plan what I was going to buy. But anyway, I decided I would be one of those to show up, but still not give my identity. As much as I want, as much as I want to be up on there and be like, I'm in the crazy man who acts won the lottery. You subscribe, <laughs> you know, I would be like, I can't do it. I, I would have to show up and, and, and be a not, but you have to show up in person, but still, They've had some people show up and they have masks on, like not even like the mask mask, like we wear when you think of masks now. They have like full on head mask, you know, covered their entire face. I would have to cut because this booty can be famous too. <laughs> I have to maybe wear a big gown. I don't know, something to show up so people don't know. So that would be my first plan. You know, that's I, but I always, every time I buy a ticket, I, I plan my life. <laughs> And then I get sad that I don't win. But I don't know. It's sometimes that's what I said. It could be a curse to win these things. It can be a curse. You hear about all these stories, becoming rich and famous, and then, you know, get on drugs and, and, and the life just becomes. But I'll tell you one thing, one thing I always do plan is like, I'm not going to be one of these that, that you know, got rich in, in the lottery. And then two years later, they, they bankrupt. I'm like, I'm financial secure. I'm like, I'm going to invest. We're going to have, we're going to, how did I get on this subject? I don't even know. Where am I at? Let me see what the comments. It's, uh, oh, wait, Vicky says she saw my lookalike. Did they win the lottery? <laughs> I saw your lookalike again last Thursday, laughing and talking to some people and looking as energetic. Oh, I'm really... You gotta get a picture of it, Vicky. I want to see a picture of this lookalike that looks like me. Did they have bangs? Not. So I can't go to Peter Ramsey with these bangs. <laughs> Should I recommend you something because you're really missing a lot of amazing stuff? Something which unites in the soul of our nation. And believe me, it's lit. Arnov, yes. I'm gonna tell you though. People recommend on my YouTube and in videos a lot. But it's hard when I go to a lot of recommendations. Are you in my Facebook group? Because I'll go. It's easier to keep track of them there. I always say it. It's so, it's so much easier to keep track of the requests there. Because in the YouTube, they'll say it in a, in a video. And I don't know which video. They'll Like, I'll see it. But I can't find it later. It's just too hard to try to navigate through the videos to try to see my requests. So if you and I have my YouTube you know, um, group link, my Facebook and, and, and most of my, 
my Bollywood song or my reactions and that kind of stuff, it's always pinned in the comments. I put that link. So I'm telling you, it's always easier. I can keep track of them there. Just easier to keep track of them there. Vicky, I love Govinda. Oh, I love Govinda. Govinda always makes me happy. Oh, Vicky said the druggy star is Sanjay Dutt. I don't know who that is. Maybe if I saw their face, I don't. Salman Khan is not best friends with, oh, what, Salman Khan and Govinda aren't friends? I didn't know this. Did they have some beef? Because Salman, you can, t I, I don't know, I just see Salman Khan and he just looks so serious. Every time I see him, he just seems real serious. And Govinda, that's why me and Govinda feel like we, we kind of like the soul, a little soul, my spirit. We, I can feel his spirit. And I feel like we have like the same spirit, just fun and just loves life. And, and I, that's how I am. I get through it. I'm like the best way to get through life. I feel like is laughter when, you know, something bad happens. I'm the worst sometimes though, because I'll like make a joke, <laughs> you know, I mean, not a joke if it's like heartbreaking and stuff like that, but just if someone's down and, and trying to get through hard times, I feel like the way to get through is laughter. And I try to cheer people up by, you know, just making jokes or having fun. So that's why I feel Govinda does. It always makes me feel good. Govinda. We we got the, so, so why aren't they, is it because of that? Because Govinda's just funny and light and, and silly sometimes. And, and Salman Khan just seems, well, he doesn't, he seem serious a lot of times. To me, he does. Like I, you never see him. I mean, you'll see some of the videos like the Bollywood song stuff, I, you know, but I'm like, I, I don't know. It's a person. I just feel like he's serious. Like, and on the screen, like he'll have the silly parts, but it, it, you feel like that's like acting. I just feel like he's more serious and Govinda's more lighthearted. Vicky said, Twinkle is with drug stars and saying what's the problem to keep 50 grams of cocaine and a weed in other countries having one gram. Many drugs will lead to life sentence and death by law. And having one gram of any drugs will lead to life sentence of death. If they have, if you do drugs in India, just one gram, you're going to get death? Is that what just, really, Vicky? It's the, it's the drug laws there that, like, that, sh somebody got to clarify this. <laughs> because, you know, here, like they even with the weeds, right? They even have like a lot of the states is it's legal like here, not federal, but you go to a lot of states and even the state I am in the state of Missouri. It, well, it's legal for medical, like medicinal here, but some states is legal, just uh, even like recreational, just to the weed is that you get life. If you get, to, or if you do the drugs or you get a life, will lead to life sentence of death? They kill you? Is this true? For doing the weeds, you get to, you get put to death? I can't believe that. Maybe because I mean, cocaine seems like a harder drug, right? Cocaine's like one of those up there where it's like, oh, that's a bad drug. But I don't know, maybe here in the US, like the weeds, you don't think it's as bad. Maybe too, because it's legal. And then Canada right above us, you know, that's legal the entire country. The whole country made that legal, the weeds. Somebody needs to answer this. Is this true? You'll get death for doing the drugs there. I'm in shock. How many times am I going to be shocked today? Honoran, hello. I am here a long time. How have you been, Honoran? I'm glad you came. Twinkle quits acting after doing 10 or 12 movies. Okay, now she writes. Oh, she writes for the newspapers. She also endorses many brands. Last week, her son turned 18. Really? Wow. So when did well, she did 10 or 12 movies? What years? Because she, I mean, that. I get, you know how time just seems to be like you think of 18 years, but then you think 18 years ago was 2002. And that don't seem too long ago, right? <laughs> <laughs> like 20 years ago was 2000. To me, that don't seem that long ago. So if it's some, a movie in the 90s, I'm like, oh, that was just right around the corner. 
And then you think 1990 was 30 years ago. I'm old. That, that's a sign that I'm old, isn't it? <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> the Pika and Priyanka Chopra friends are friends fight. Oh, Mr. Carius is here. Now I'm starting to miss your husband. I think he makes a pretty good co-host for you. Oh, I think so too. That's why I told him. I was like, we need to do like maybe not every Saturday morning. It's Saturday morning for me. So that'll be like wherever y'all are at. I know my India period. That's like Saturday night, right? But I, I miss him doing it too. It's not as fun just talking. It's like I, I like having, and he's funny. I'm going to talk him into it. Maybe like like twice a month. Don't you think, mister? Like twice a month I have a little thing. I'll still come on my Wednesdays, you know, because I just, but that just means I get to come live twice a week, <laughs> you know? Maybe then I could, because, oh, look, I'm already almost at an hour. Maybe I won't do as long as one, because sometimes I'll go for two hours talking, right? So I could do maybe like an hour on Wednesday and, and cut in half, do like an hour on, on Saturday. I'm going to talk him into it. I think he needs to. And I know he'll miss it too because he'll ask how people are. Govinda and Sanjay Dutt were friends before, but Sanjay Dutt was once complained about Govinda to the member of, of, the, of the mafia and Govinda started getting calls and then Govinda broke the friendship. Wow. Is, you look adorable. Oh, thank you, Mr. Carius. Did you see the name of my life? Because Mr. Carius came late. I'm interviewing Peter Ramsey today. Look at me. I'm right on nails because I'm nervous. Peter Ramsey. Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. One-on-one -on -one interviews. It's not like I just ask him some questions with a bunch of people like I do some of the interviews. It's one-on-one. -on -one. I think he says I don't read properly. I said in other countries. Oh, if you keep the drugs, the law will sentence you to death. Please. Look, to Vicky, <laughs> you could, you should understand. I don't talk properly. <laughs> I say, I don't say names properly. Of course, it's going to, sometimes when I read, I won't do it properly either. What happened? What about Anand's Appa Appa scenes reaction? Is that the one you want me to do? Anand's, is that Govinda? Anand's Apna. Is that the Govinda you want me? Because I, I wanted to, the Govinda. I'm writing Govinda. Tell me if it's wrong. Vicky, personally, I don't really read very properly. <laughs> Look, Mr. Carius and me are on the same page. <laughs> and it's not an excuse on social media. It's more interesting than a book. I'm just not very good. Look, sometimes me, or when it's hard too. I don't know if, when you're doing a live, like talking to people and then you read, you kind of just try to do it real fast. That's why it was good too. Vicky would always say, Greg reads it better than you. Greg, you're, that would always help too because I could just be talking and he reads the comments. That's another thing I think he's good at the, being the co-host. I think you're right, Mr. Carries. I'm going to tell him. I'm like, everybody's still asking for you. You need to come and talk with me like on a, on a Saturday. React to Omni's phase theme song. Trust me, I'll definitely have goosebumps. Oh, I'm dying to see your reaction to it. You can be the first to react to it. Not, oh, they don't have a clue. Who's, I'm going to have to check it out. Um, Is this a newer song or older song? All right, what else? I'm keeping your new name. I'm keeping, look, I'm, now, look, Vicky got me. I am keeping your new name properly. <laughs> she got me all nervous reading her stuff, Vicky. You had watched, oh, I did, but that was just 10, the, the Joe, Jadhar Gakbar, because it has my boyfriend, Ritik. That was just 10 to 15% of the story. John Hart was the last wife of Akbar. Akbar was having many wives, but John becomes his queen. Really? That's, oh, I would like to see that story, because, right, that was like the big thing. You got the, the one, the one wife, and. And and she became like, oh, and he, then he had many wives, but she became his queen. Oh. I don't know. said, also watch Namo Namo. <laughs> Our whole nation watched it. It was aired on TV during lockdown. I would love to see. Let me write. 
Look, is this becoming like request time? I hope I hopefully I don't lose this one. That's what I said. I lost that one last week. I got it on my little thing. Speaking of social media, I've been talking to my friends on live live chat lately. So I'm in a better mood than normal. I'm glad you wasn't here earlier, Mr. Carius, because I was a little depressed talking about like schooling and my son, you know, missing school and talking about how he's lonely. Like it's, it's hard. And I told him, I even told him, I was like, why don't you go look at me trying to tell him to do like social media stuff. I was like, why don't you go on like discord? <laughs> I was like, I was like, go make some friends on the discord. I shouldn't be like pushing them to make their friends, but it just broke my heart that he said he was lonely. Mr. Carius Gus, I don't know what she was saying. <laughs> Sonara song, oh Bollywood song, you can react. Senorita, I feel like I've seen the Senorita song. Didn't I react to the Senoritas? I feel like I reacted to the Senorita. Because that has my boy, yeah, with my boyfriend. I, I feel like I reacted that one. Hello, Audra. And then Adrian. And then Anuron said, you didn't react to my, oh my goodness. All right, right. Last one. Last one. America first. First. I don't even know. And India second. That, that title don't it. What is that about? I'm going to have the title. Official. You wrote it down last time. All right. I'm going to have to, I'll check it out. Thank you for your videos. They make my day. Oh, thank you, Adrian. Hello. Anurhav. and eh, eh. A new a new behalf. Anaron said you didn't get life sentence death penalty. Weed is very much part of oh it is. It's used in the meditation. Oh gotcha. Vicky said, Do you know Akbar was a traitor? Cruel to the king, invaded India, killed thousands of Hindus and raped thousands of Indian women. But in our school books, he is a godly king. This is all mess was happened <gasps> because of the first. Well, listen, that's like I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it back to the Trump <laughs> because late he just signed one of the executive orders to like change the, the history books, making it more patriotic. Talking about he don't like that they're talking about slaves and stuff, and he wants to talk about the more patriotic and want to take that stuff out. It's scary when they change the stuff like that, right? History is history, it's facts, it happened. They shouldn't make it like what they just want to teach to make things look good. <sighs> Adrian says, school did nothing for me. I'm still dumb and still. That ain't true, Adrian. Don't say that. What did Vanna say? Akbar was born in India. His father invaded India. Vicky is heavily influenced. Oh, how come they have the propaganda? Whatever it is. I feel like I, right now in the U.S. we're just so mixed with stuff back and forth with things. <laughs> he was also the, the it's even that y'all don't think he's born there. Like y'all even going back and forth with that. Well, he is like, when did that take place in history? It is hard to go actually go back. In the, it's not like you can just go back and, and look at the videos, right? <laughs> It's true. Akbar was very cruel, but Jonah changed to him totally. I mean, you can see that even in that movie. <laughs> like the movie's the truth. <laughs> the only reason why I'm willing to talk about this right now is because it's actually going good. But just a question for anyone. How do you think Carrie would be if she started to make friends? Carrie, like the girl with the... the that killed people at the prom and with the blood. I mean, I would think that's what kind of drove her to go crazy, right? Now you got me thinking. Ain't that because, like, it was how people were cruel and mean to her? Ain't that why she kind of went crazy and killed everybody? I mean, it's been a while. I never read the book, but it's been a while since I've seen the movie. But I feel like, you know, kindness and, and friendship would prevent that kind of stuff. That's what they even say about like the, the the school shooters and all that kind of thing. Like they're outsiders and people like made fun of them and and that and and that's why it drove them to do that kind of things. I mean, kindness and it goes a long way in the world. It does. 
And it's, I don't know why it just seems like we lost so much of it now. Yeah, I, I, especially on the social media, especially I look with news articles these days and I look in the comments and just everybody just mean to each other and just it's, look, I feel like a computer give a lot of people like makes it really easy to just be mean because they can just sit behind a the computer. They don't have to face nobody face to face and they could just say the comments and be mean to each other. And, and they really don't get repercussions because they can just do a message and not look at it again. You know, it's made, it's given people, I don't know, I wouldn't say more courage even to be mean, but just you, you don't see the, the impact you make when you're actually being mean and hurting people. You know, you don't see the, the person across from you that you're, you're hurting. So social, I mean, what can I say? I'm a social media person. The minute social media came, I was on it. Now it's like part of my job. I'm on social media. I have to be on it all the time. So it's, uh, I'm part of this social media world, but, and it, and it brings a lot of good stuff. Let me tell you, like keeps you informed with things, but I mean, there's also a bad side to it. We got deep. <laughs> we get deep on this. India's first education minister, PM, is fond of the Islam and spread the lies to spread Islam. But is this the right way? We welcome Islam, but what they did was utterly disgusting. That's what Vicky said. Aaron said, India doesn't give death penalty. Yeah, okay, it's very rare cases like terrorists. Okay, oh, y'all don't give death penalty like much at all. Akbar, it's Akbar's grandson who built the Taj Mahal. Vanna said, don't believe Vicky and me either. Anyway, discussing history won't help our present. I mean, they say if you don't learn from history, you're doomed to repeat it, right? They have that saying uh, that you should. But, yeah, it's we shouldn't fight about it. We shouldn't. <laughs> Carrie from the Stephen King book, Carrie, cause in my fan fiction, Carrie White makes friends with three boys that can also move things with their minds. Oh, like tele, yeah, the telepathic Carrie. Vicky, yes, true. Akbar was born in India, but his grandfather, Babar, invaded India, who came the Mongolian to spread Islam to the edge of the sword, not with love. Persians came with love. Politics here is to prove and make criminals as gentlemen and gentlemen as criminals. I mean, they do that, like even here in the U.S., you know, a lot of a lot of the people that conquer places in history, they have to, it's not like they're, to conquer someplace, you have to like be cruel. And, and I mean, it's usually war when you conquer places, right? Usually war and to conquer it, you have to slaughter lots of people. So these, you know, people in the history, of course, I'm sure, they, I mean, they did some bad stuff to conquer thing. I wouldn't even, I don't even know. I'm telling Akbar, I don't know the history, but I'm just saying, you think back in history and you think of these people that's lifted up in history and as these great, you know, conquerors and this and that, but like to conquer, I mean, to be the, you, I, and I, well, you know what comes to my mind is uh, Roman. I love like to read about and watch shows about the Roman history, right? Julius Caesar and this and this, but think of all the people like they had to slaughter and kill to like conquer, you know, what they did. Think all the people they killed and slaughtered. So they have to be these, you know, what's the word for it? I don't even know, but y'all know what I'm saying. And even here, and then, but then they'll turn around like, oh, he was a great conqueror and he was a great emperor in this, but he did some bad stuff to get in that position, right? Same here. Like, well, they... And I and I don't like that they do this. The the Col Christopher Columbus here in the U.S. They talk about the Christopher Columbus. Oh, he discovered America. Like they made him this big great person who discovered America, and 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 he did this and that, and made friends with the Indians. But then you know American Indians. But then or what do, what do they say? Native Native Americans, right? Native. That's what. Because now now you say with the American the Indians. Uh, like me, or I got my Bollywood India people, <laughs> so it can be confusing. But Native Americans, they want to say, right? But he came over here, and you hear the truth. Like he slaughtered them and, and made them slaves and, and raped. So 
but they do it for everything. I feel like they turn it around, you know, cause and make them like this great person, but they did some bad stuff. But they, you know, it happens. I don't know. Yeah, guys, let it be. There's no point in discussing history. Let's talk about the good stuff. That's right. Talk about the things we're passionate about. Yes or no? <laughs> I'm pretty sure very little people have seen the movie. <clears throat> 20. I haven't seen that Chronicle. It's a little bit like Stephen King, but Carrie, but just with a gender swatch. Oh, I have not even heard of that, Mr. Okay. Is it? Is it on Netflix? <laughs> is it on Netflix? Rami's temple is going to be the world's biggest and richest temple. Oh, Rams. I said Rami. See, Vicky's going to get out. I didn't read that right. Rams temple. We recently discovered a mountain of gold actually in our country. Really? Can I never. Oh, where? Arnav? Can I come visit? Now I'm going to come visit. <laughs> I'm going to come visit for some gold. Really? A whole mountain of it. Oh, I bet they're mining that sucker. Akbar was probably the least bad in the dynasty, a.k.a. Muslim kings. He was good, not evil, like other Mongol, a.k.a. Muslim kings. Yes, Vicky consumes the right wing, Hindu, proper. See, both sides, whatever side, they're going to be pushing their stuff. Like, yeah, But that's what I said. They, it's, we we got to find a way, though, to come together. I keep saying that here, too. Oh, look, it vanished. Trump fooled Americans by the stupid slogan, make America great again. And now 200K Americans are dead. That's why I said you should not fight over history. Of course, reading history is important. Vanish. I'm with you. And and you know how he's wanting to make America great again? When it was great for old white men like him. <laughs> That's what he wants to make America great for him. They thought it was great like 100 years ago, you know, when... When, you know, people of color and different races didn't have really a say in the world. When women, you know, just, you know, didn't vote and did whatever their husband, you know, had to be there. They, they were always, their husbands made the decisions, always the head of household. And, and they vote the way the husbands is and he takes care of everything. I was reading after the Ruth or why, when I was reading some stuff after, you know, RBG, rest in peace, died. But, you know, um, some of my aunts, I mean, because I have some aunts in their 60s. And after she died, she was writing on her on her Facebook uh, status about when she first got married. And that was in the late 50s, maybe early 60s. But, you know, she had a job. She got married. Her husband worked. She worked. She had a job. And I guess they had just got a new house and she was buying She wanted to buy, I don't know if she said like a washing machine. It was some appliance for a house. And she went to the store, tried to get credit, like a credit card to buy it. They declined her. Even though she had a job making money and all that, what she had to do to buy this stuff is call her husband and he had to come and like approve it. I mean, that, and that was just in what, the 60s? I mean, for me, that's why I said it feels like it's 2020. So that was like 50, 60 years ago. But 50, 60, I mean, my aunt has seen, you know, how women didn't have rights and how we have gain rights. And that's why I said, like, this agenda now is like wanting to bring it back when America was great for them, when it was great, when they had the say and control, you know? And even now, like with the Supreme Court replacing her, like they're talking about replacing her with this, you know, super conservative where they were like, oh, I got a woman like that's going to appease people because she's a woman. But she's not a woman who's for women rights. <laughs> oh, no. She's like been all against like the women rights. And 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 it, I feel like putting someone on there, especially, is this a, first of all, slap in the face to the Ruth Bader Ginsburg, you know, because she's pretty much against everything that RGB or RBG, you know, fought for. It's sad. That's how they want to make America great. By bring it back in a time when white men were all powerful. 
I sure got on my rant, didn't I? <laughs> T just Doha's small temple was made of gold and jewel, very beautiful, but British looted. Oh, I beautiful peacock. Oh, personally think Cherry in her own story made any friends. So if Carrie made friends with these three, she would actually start to get out of her stole a little more. <clears throat> One million subscribers with no videos. <laughs> That's their name. I subscribe to you because you're good at reacting and you look cute. Ah, oh, that's a good reason. Thank you, one million subscribers with no videos. <laughs> Except my bangs are not on it today. And I'm in for little Peter Ramsey. Two hours. I got to get it together. Maybe I'll just wash these. I don't know. I'm going to have to. You can visit his palace. Oh, and really, Akbar and Joha's palace. Oh, when I come to India one day, I will. Carry mine to Albion. Big boss, don't you even say big boss. You know, <laughs> you got me coughing. That was last week every time. But now y'all going to be doing the big boss, so I say that every time. A gold mountain, that's what they call it. It's a state called Up, not in a huge mountain, but yes, it's a mountain and gold piled, of gold piled up. Oh, it's just a whole mountain of gold? Did they... Like, it's not a regular mountain. It's just a gold mountain. They, and they just pile some gold up. Sorry, misspelled Carrie. Oh, okay. I was wondering what you're talking about. But Carrie is her own story. Shy, timid girl. But I think it's more she spends other guy, Andrew, the happier she becomes. Because she got a friend and someone kind to her. That's what we need in this world. Also, I want to know one thing. Have you ever tried wearing Indian ethnic stuff? Yes, Arnav. I was just talking about this earlier. I'm sure if you search on YouTube, Crazy Man Directs, Where's a Sorry, they have the video. Because, oh, I I think I didn't do it that great. I was tying it, and it's hard. To, and I even watched some videos on how to do it. But I have a video. For anybody who never saw the movie Chronicle, it would take some time to talk about. I've never seen it, but now I want to check it out, Mr. Carius. Recently, a vendor went viral where Chinese soldiers were crying were crying very badly, very badly before war. Really? I haven't heard about that. It's a viral too. Is it on YouTube? Vanish. The problem is people are targeting Muslims in today's India who have nothing to do with Muslim rulers did. <clears throat> and in reality, and every ruler has his fair share. That's what I was just saying, Matt, right? Like if you're a great person in history, especially a great man who conquered places, you're going to have your stories of being cruel. Like you have to do bad things to conquer places, you know? So it's whoever's perspective you look at it. Like if you were the ones being conquered, there are these cruel people coming and slaughtering your people to take your land, you know? If you're the conquerors, you know, on that side, you look at it like they're this great person who's you know, for our country and you don't think about the the bad things that they did, but they probably did some bad things. Oh, I lost my place. There, Vicky. Do you know that the world's precious 24 karat diamond on the crown? Oh, wait, as of the Britain. I think we talked about this. And didn't they like take it like it was this big diamond and then they broke it up? I, were, I think we talked about this last week. I feel like we talked about this in that long. They say it's a cursed diamond, so let her take it. <laughs> Was it before she had the weird looking kid? <laughs> oh, no, I shouldn't say that. But you know Prince Charles is goofy looking. <laughs> you know, he got, he is that, like, you don't think, look at him at Prince Charles and be like, oh, that's Prince Charming. No, you don't think it as Prince Charming. <laughs> he's goofy looking. He's, he's. <laughs> I shouldn't be mean. Why I shouldn't be mean about people's appearance? I shouldn't. What about a Nas Appa Appa movie scenes? When you're going to react to it, it's my life. It's my love. I wrote it down. Don't let me lose this paper, Vicky. <laughs> Mr. Karis. Andrew was technically lives the same life as Carrie. Basically, he has a dying mother, abusive father, gets picked on and slept around in high school. Aw. Rupam! I know it's Rupam's birthday. I know it's Rupam's birthday. Let's sing him happy birthday. 
I saw on Facebook. I wish them happy birthday on time. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rupam. Happy birthday to you. I hope you're still here and heard your birthday song. I'm not that far behind comments, so hopefully he is. I hope you have a great one, Rupam. Big boss. I should have said that. Happy birthday, dear. Big boss, Rupam. <laughs> I'm in a silly mood. I should interview the Peter Ramsey being in this silly mood, don't you think? I should call Peter Ramsey Big Paw. I'd be like, I'm glad you can make it, to, uh, Miss, Mr. Ramsey. I just think you're the big boss. <laughs> should I call Peter Ramsey Big Boss? <laughs> Who dares me? Who dares me call the big Peter Ramsey Big Boss? I got to slip it in there somehow. I'm going to try to find a way. I'm going to try to find a way. Homemakers in rural India hold over 11% of the actual amount of gold in the world. Really? Consequently, India women collectively wear over 21 tons of gold in their bodies. I mean, I've seen some of those videos with the girls dressing up and they got the head pieces and the jewelry, so I'm not surprised. And I bet it's heavy. <laughs> Amanda, who's that man standing behind you and staring at Vicky, don't you even do it. Vicky, I'm going to, we're going to mute you. Don't be scaring me like this. I hope you're talking about my posters. Vicky. You know, I'm, I get jumpy. <laughs> Tejas, all the, oh, thank you, Tejas. I got to wrap it up. I already been on an hour and 20 minutes. We got to wrap this up. Hi, Potter over on TikTok. Because I got to get prepared for the Peter Ramsey interview. Oh, Rupam is here. Is here. I'm glad I got you. I wish you. I was hoping you came. I kept watching Rupam. I was like, I hope Rupam comes because I know it's his birthday. I saw him on the Facebook and I want to wish him happy birthday. So I was glad. Thank you for coming, Rupam, and on your birthday and saying hi that I got to wish it to you. Where am I at? Where am I at? I'm going to finish up the comments so I can go. Basically, it's the found footage movie of the three boys wander a weird cave where a crystal blowing rock. This sounds, I don't know, this sounds crazy to Chronicles. The next day they have telekinesis. This sounds a little crazy, Mr. Carrion. My fan fiction is really about the Chronicles, but adds Carrion to it. I'm sure the story is a lot different. Vicky said Poland strictly said to the whole world that they won't let Muslims enter in the country. I mean, look at here. They, they even in the U.S., they have still have that stigma with, with like the Muslims. They still do. I mean, and that came from when we had the 9-11, right? Like that was when you really heard about the Muslims and then they got that stigma in their mind. And you even hear about stories, uh, I mean, with different religions that's not Christian, how, you know, they're targeted and, and the churches are from these crazy Christian people, you know? Like, I feel like, I mean, yeah, like even 9-11, they had the bad people there, but I feel that with the danger in the world with the religions, even in the politics, is when you become extremist, right? When you become these extremists in religion, like even Christian, wait, the Christians here, when they we, we have these extremist Christians, that's where you really get power, you know, this crazy, you know, craziness or, or problems when, when you get extreme. In politics, we have the extreme leftist, the extreme rightist. That's when they're just so extreme on their end and when their beliefs that they can never look at the other side and, and compromise. Where am I at? My, where am I at? Oh, yeah, teachers wish them happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> where did Vicky say something at Vicky? Vanish talking to Vicky. They're talking about something. Dubai. I don't know. I don't understand. Maybe rich Muslims aren't. I don't know. Vikas, you do prefer. I love coffee. I do. <laughs> Not immediately, but they start having feelings. Rupin said, thank you for wishing. Oh, have a very best on your end. Thank you, Rupin. I know I got to get going. And Twisted Word Nerve just came and I got to go. Next time, Twisted Nerve. Hi, Amanda. All the best for your interview. I joined late today, but glad to be here. Me too. And I'm, that's why I said I have to go. And I'm glad you just got, I'm sad that you just got here and didn't get to talk to you. But I got to get ready for it. I'm all nervous. I know I know. I usually ever get nerves when I do the interviews. It's like hardly ever. I just go in. I'm like, how you see me, I can talk an hour and a half, two hours. 
and just talk, 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 and, but and and not even worry about it. But <sighs> Peter Ramsey, that's the Spider Man into the Spider Verse. I gotta figure out how to call him the big boss. <laughs> That's gonna be my goal. Let's see if I can do it. All right, one more. Well, let me finish. Mr. Carey said, when you get to know each other, realize that they are like each other more in the ways than one. Yeah, and not just that they have telekinesis, but the fact that, oh, he's still talking about his fan fiction. <laughs> I'll have to check out this chronicle. Don't let me forget it, Mr. Carius. Oh, you're the best. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Twist and Nerve and Rupam. I'm not getting the place to suggest the songs to react, so I am telling you here. Why aren't you, are you not on Facebook? Because I'm telling you, I remember the best there. That's the best way I'm, I went in my little group. I, I can keep track of it. All right, y'all. I got to go. It's been an hour and almost 30 minutes. I got to get ready for my interview. Do a little something. I got to do a little something with my bangs. I got to do something. Peter Ramsey can't be seeing these bangs like this. Got to change my outfits, look a little cute. Then I got to think of some questions to ask. I didn't even think of the questions. <laughs> and it's, well, it's still about two hours away. So I've got some time. And I'm going to try, listen, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to try to talk Greg into coming on Saturday. It'll be Saturday night for y'all. Let's, let's try to, I'm going to cross my fingers. See if we, just for a little bit, I'm going to tell them. I'm be like, they're missing you. You have to come on. It's been a while. You have to come on. You can't just. Give him that little piece and then never see him again, you know. And he was, especially I bet y'all watched the little inner or the little vlog I did with us having breakfast. So that probably made him miss him. Even, I'm going to tell him. It made him miss him even more. They were asking for you to come live to say hi. So I'm going to tell him. All right, y'all. I'm going until next time. Be nice to each other. Be kind. Get, a, you know, just be empathetic to each other. Spread your love. Spread happiness and love and laughter. Until next time, y'all. I know this is always the hardest part going. All right. All right. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye, guys. And on TikTok. <laughs>